any program that you can do experimenting with immersive journalism, period. And then to do it with AR, I think was very forward thinking. To find out that there's this program for storytellers and technologists to kind of combine their skill sets is like a perfect opportunity. We really learned four or five technologies in a month. We prototyped format and a storytelling idea, and then we spent the four and a half months building out that product. We've been working on a three-part AR series about the border and migration through the personal belongings that migrants carried across the border. We have made it. Our series was a foodie tour through different uh, ethnic enclaves across the U.S. People, captain of the boat, yeah, the baby buddies, hey, we gotta leave the country. You know, it was 1975, the fall of Saigon. The first challenge of telling a story in AR is just simply that, telling a story. What does a story look like? And try to just see if we could have, get people to connect with some of the subjects that we feature in it and to try to see if we really could pull as much storytelling as possible out of these, these 3D objects. Really going deeply into a story, but then also testing it against this technology, right? That's very new, there's no real like immersive language for AR, and so testing the language and, and just kind of pushing the boundaries. Even when we didn't think something was finished or it wasn't perfect, we got feedback to figure out what worked and what didn't, and it allowed us to move forward quickly that question of like why AR, I can now ask that question and I don't know how many journalists can. It's an incredible opportunity to be able to experiment with craft and really not have very many limits on what we could do. I think what this program has really done for me is made it very clear how people with, from different fields can work together. I'm thinking of collaboration in a totally different way now. All different versions of digital realities that are coming through headsets and phones and everything else. I think 3D content is going to be a very big part of the media landscape in the next five or 10 years. So I'm pretty committed to continuing that.